Hello my lovely Sagittarians, welcome to your October 2022 reading. This is a general reading for you my lovely Sagittarians, it's a reading for Sagittarius Sun, Rising and Moon sign. Also listen to your um, Rising sign and Moon sign, sometimes they resonate more for you than your Sun sign will. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that will be specific to you. Well, my lovely Sagittarians, I've been meditating on your energy and seeing what, um, what energy is coming through for you for the month of October, what energies you're going to be working with. <clears throat> I want to say to you, my lovely Sagittarians, that you have arrived. They're telling me here, you've, you have arrived. You've arrived at a realisation or a point in your life. Um, things are now starting to look up because I feel like you've, you've, you've taken the reins. I'm just seeing you taking the reins. You're, you're driving this. You're, you're deciding what you want to have in your life, what you want to do, how you want things to be. So there's this redesigning of what's around you, a change of perspective on what's around you, but it's not something that's happened externally. It's something that's going on internally with you. They're showing me here you've just thrown this wonderful white tablecloth on your table of life and there's nothing on it and it is now for you to put on that what you're wanting. Being uh, picky about what you're setting at your table of life. Not allowing other people to say, well, look, you know, I've made this casserole. I'm going to just, you know, put it there. I don't really want it. I'll just give it to you. No, 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 no. Get it off. Get it off my life. I don't want that here. Um, it, it's and it's not a casserole. It's just uh, you know it could be their thoughts or their ideas or their opinions. No, not gonna. It's not gonna go. No, it's not. It's it's about what you're wanting. So I feel like you're standing, my lovely Sagittarius. You're standing on firm ground now, uh, and and it's really about you deciding. Yeah, this is where I want to be. I want to be on this firm ground. I want to design the. I want to be the architect of my life. I want to design the path I'm going to walk down and I'm going to decide who's going to walk that path with me <clears throat> and so it's about um, what are you doing you're looking at your life what needs to be brought into it what is going to complete it what is it that you're desiring to bring in? What are you ready to receive? Really, they're saying, this is what they suggest, my guides have just said. What are you ready to receive? And so expect the best. Aim high. Don't create a glass ceiling. <clears throat> Aim high. Expect the best of the best to come to you. Have high expectations. October is going to lay the footwork, the groundwork for what's going to come. December, January, February, March. I feel like there's a big shifts coming here for you. And I, that's absolutely fabulous. I really like how that feels. It gives it, it sort of um, my lovely Sagittarius. It's giving you that 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 fire in your belly. It's giving you that drive. It's not just about putting one foot in front of the other and and the routine. It's the routine that doesn't work for you. It needs to be something other than routine that's going on with you in your life. So what are you going to do? What are you going to design? What, how are you going? What changes are you going to make? Are you going to move? You're going to change locations. Uh, are you going to move into state? Someone's moving into state. Change your work. Um, and if you're not changing your work, you're making it fit you better. Looking at your personal life, what gaps are there? What needs to be brought in? What needs to be fixed? And that's not for all of you. It's for whoever it, it fits. If the shoe fits, you know, 
um, is what they're saying here to me. <clears throat> I'm going to, oh, you've got two cards. I'm drawing cards from my Dreamtime reading cards. Two cards fell out. Uh, let's have a look at what energy is coming in for you. What animal totems do you have? Oh, I like this. You've got the magpie and the carpet snake. I like that. The magpie, magpies, they're, they're, they're interesting, aren't they? They're very familial. They're, they're, um, they're birds that once you earn their trust, they'll come back. They'll come back um, and they'll bring the young and, and they'll trust you. But if you, don't, if you do something that harms them just once, they'll never forget it. So the magpie, what it says here, is the spoken word. They're, they're noisy little things, aren't they? The spoken word is going to be very important for you in October. That's speaking up for yourself. What do you want? What do you, and it, it's even speaking to yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to speak to others, but it's about speaking to yourself. So what do you need? What Self-talk have you got going there? What do you need to say to somebody else? It's going to be, you know, it's, just, it's the self-talk's really important, but also maybe you need to speak to someone else about something to make it more, uh, more about what you want. Let's read this. The magpie is associated with chatter gossip and the power of the spoken word. It also reflects the struggle of the adolescent. Mm. The bird often visits to remind you that gossip and more importantly your reputation is something that you must be mindful of. It warns against talking about other people and the damage that gossip can do. I don't feel like that sort of sits with you. Talking with someone you trust can be very therapeutic but talking badly about others can be destructive and hurtful. The, the magpie is always chatting to itself this is what this is what's highlighted here for me. The magpie is always chatting to itself, to its offspring, and even to other birds. It can indicate that there will be discussions or that you may be the topic of others others talk. The best thing to do is to watch your words, speak nicely about others and avoid idle chatter and, and make your words count. I feel like I want to say to you it's about making your words count. Talking to your, this is what I'm saying to you, that self-talk. What processing's going on there with you? The self-talk that's going on. It's going to make uh, an impact. And then speaking to others, not maliciously, but, but choosing your words wisely is going to be important. And then you've got the carpet snake. The carpet snake is about home. Coming home to yourself as well. What does it say about the carpet snake? The carpet snake reminds you that life always appears better after a nice long sleep and getting some food in your belly. Everyone needs time out occasionally and the carpet snake encourages you to curl up somewhere safe and take it easy. If you have been busy lately, the carpet snake is telling you it's time to relax and enjoy some quiet time alone in a place you feel safe. So it's about choosing your words wisely, but also have, having time to uh, time out to really process what it is you're going to say. It's nothing that you're doing on impulse here. Uh, it's nothing that you're doing. Um, it, it's pre, it's thought about. You're choosing your words. You know, what do they say? Put your brain in gear before you, you open your mouth. Just really process it. That just doesn't blah. It, you don't just, it just doesn't pour out of you. Um, and then you regret what you've said. So it's really you're choosing all of that very, very carefully. I'm going to create the Celtic cross now, my lovely Sagittarius. Let's see what's in store for you. I like your month. Um, it's it's empower, it's empowering. I feel like your month is empowering. It sets you up for your future. And this is the energy that's coming through here. 
This is how the stars have aligned for you for October. And so really there's also free will. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to use the energy that's there? Are you going to follow your instincts or your, you know, what you're feeling you need to do? Because that's going to really, your intuition's going to be heightened as well, which will lead to a lot of new opportunities for you. It's really setting you up for the next few months very, very well. I like that a lot. What have you got? You've got the Princess of Wands. The winds of change are coming through here. This is your suit, the, the suit of um, action, of enthusiasm, of, of passion, of joy, um, of life's purpose. But, you know, it's it, initially it's about the Princess of Wands it's about it's like a page of wands it's about you really thinking about the process not acting instantly taking some time out thinking about the process but having this sense of intuition where you can really feel that wind of change coming through look at those billowing gowns you know it, it, there's change coming but it's time to hold still and process uh, and decide what it is you're going to be doing because that will lead you to making very wise decisions, good choices. I like that. You've got the four of wands here. There's also some sort of celebration coming up here for you in October. Um, it's it's uh, someone that it, it's to do with someone around you or you. Uh, there's celebrations coming up here. Uh, it can be a uh, a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding, a, an engagement, birth of a child. Um, it can be just you celebrating your successes, the changes you're bringing in. Uh, but it, it's it's a time of socialising. It's a time of joy. It's a time of really, um, what are they saying, really, being light-hearted, they're saying here to me, being light-hearted and really enjoying whatever events are coming up for you. Who's planning a holiday as well? There's some sort of getaway or some sort of holiday, which I really like. That's really nice. That's really nice. There's um, also a lot of, see, there's a lot of wands here. You're really standing in your own energy here in October. You've got the two of wands here and the two of wands is about decisions and choices. There's going to be choices here for you to make. There's decisions here for you to make. Follow your intuition. Follow your, your heart. Um, really, Don't overthink things. Know whether you're going to say yes or no to certain situations. What opportunities are coming up here for you? There's decisions and choices that are coming up here for you. That are going to have um, that are going to have far-reaching effects into your future, and that's a good thing. I'm not saying that it's like oh, oh, it's a good thing. These changes are going to be really good in moving you forward. There's forward movement, and you you know look how calm the water is. So emotionally, you're feeling quite good about the changes that are coming in, or the decisions and choices that you're going to be making. So October is going to be a month of decision making a month of uh, the spoken word being important, a month of really being processing what it is you're wanting. So you really need to define what you, want, what you feel like you want to bring into your life. You've also got the Queen of Cups sitting here. Now, for some of you, this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, uh, male or female, that is, is in your in your life or in your thoughts you're thinking about um it's it's just uh, I, I feel like it, this is someone that's going to that's going to be in your thoughts in october that there's going to be things and discussions there's discussions around this person i feel like there's discussions around this person in october um so they're really going to have some sort of um presence I want to say around you in um in October so there's some influence here there's some presence here 
This can also be you. This can be you say, uh, and it, you know, for some of you, this is this is an energy that's coming in around you. The Queen of Cups is a, a nurturer, is someone that will nurture. Uh, so it's about nurturing others and nurturing yourself. So it's about in these decisions that you're making. There's a consideration of others around you as well. Um, it's about also self nurturing. It's about using your intuition in this is in you know um, using your intuition a lot. How does you, how how's your body speak to you when you're making a choice a decision making a choice? How does it feel? How does it sit with you? You know sometimes when you decide you're going to do something and your stomach is absolutely doing flip flops and it's in turmoil and it doesn't feel right. You know people say this doesn't feel right. They're the words that people use. Or sometimes I think oh, this is there's no logic in what I'm going to decide, but it feels right. I feel good about it. Tapping into your intuition, feeling what's going on in your solar plexus when you're making choices and decisions as well. You've also got the tower. So at some point in October, there's going to be a time when you are going to look at releasing certain aspects in your of your life, certain things in your life. It could be certain um, behaviours or thought processes or attitudes or cycles that you have, certain habits that you've fallen into that now need to be done with, need to be released. It's also about releasing things from the past. What, you, what do you need to clean up? My lovely Sagittarians, what do you need to clean up? What do you need to move on? Um, is this, oh, who's gossiping around you? Who's gossiping around you? There's gossip going on. You know, do you want that? Do you want that? Or are you going to shut the door on that and move it on? You know, uh, it's not necessary. To, in the energy that you're coming into, you don't need that. So is that something that you're cleaning up? Is it a job that you're releasing to get something better? Is it a, a home that you're releasing to, to move somewhere better? What is it for you? What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? Turning your back on the gossip, turning your back on negative talk, turning your back on something that's going on around you, which is good. I like it. You've also got the Prince of Wands. This is like the Knight. A lot of wands, a lot of wands. You're really coming into your own, my lovely um, Sagittarius. You've got the Prince of Wands. This is about, oh, what is it? After week two of October, they're telling me here, there's forward movement. It's time to take action. You've set the groundwork at the beginning of, of October. By the, the end of the second week of October, it's time to charge ahead. It's time to move forward. It's time to put things in place. It's time to take action. It's time to be proactive about what you want to bring in around you. So it's a time of action, a time of action. It's a time of pursuing your, your passions, your enthusiasm, your life's purpose, the direction you want to go in. Forging ahead, moving forward. And that forward movement, you've got the seven of pentacles here. And I like that. This is also about patience. So, you know, you make these choices, these decisions, you'll bring new things into your life. But then you think, oh, it's not moving as quickly as I would like. I wanted it all yesterday. Well, it's not going to be there yesterday. It's going to, it will happen. But it's not going to happen overnight. It's about patience. It's about preparing your, uh, you know, tilling the soil, fertilizing the soil, watering your plants, watching them grow, watching them bear fruit, and then reaping the rewards of that. I feel like the things you're putting in place in October, you're really going to see the benefits of the end of December, January, February, March. You're going to start seeing the benefits of the work that you're putting in, the changes that you're making here. Uh, so it's well worth the effort because it is going to pay off. It is going to bring into your life the abundance that you're seeking, be that love, be that health, be that financial, be that work, uh, career, be that study, whatever it is, whatever form it takes for you, you will start to see the benefits of it. So it's well worth the effort. What you've got here is the High Priestess. It speak, this speaks of your, um, your intuition. It's going to play a very big part. Connection with your guides. Connection with your tribe. 
uh, active dream life, messages coming through your dreams, inspirational thoughts. You know, when you're sort of sitting here and you think, oh, look at that idea. Ah, oh, that idea's just dropped into my aura. That I, it's just, I've got this idea. How clever. How, that, I've got to investigate that. I'll pursue that. That's inspirational thought. Um, you're going to get a lot of that towards the end of October. Um, your intuition is going to be heightened at the, towards the end of October as well. Always use that as your guide. Um, your guides will connect with you through your dreams or through inspirational um, thought or just how you're feeling. You'll have this sense of knowing. Don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss it because it's going to be quite significant. You've then, of course, doesn't surprise me that you've got the Ace of Wands, my lovely Sagittarius. By the end of October, there's going, I want to say the last week of October, there's a new chapter coming up here for you. There's a new, um, new gateway, proverbial doorway. There's, new, there's newness here. There's a new start. Uh, and that's coming about because of the change in the, your perception and what you're expecting but there's new opportunities coming to you there's some sort of big 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 shift and change coming in around you I really like your energy my lovely Sagittarians um, this is pursuing your life's purpose this is pursuing your dreams this is pursuing what um, you know hitting your goals look you know you this is where you want to be you want to get there uh, anything's possible there's no limits here to what you can achieve. And da -da, the last card you've got, the world. Isn't that amazing? The world is your oyster. What do you want to bring into your reality? Don't settle for anything less. Don't settle for med mediocrity. Really strive for the exceptional because that's what awaits you. It's about you having that self-confidence, knowing your true ability, knowing what you're capable of, knowing what you can do if it's a new business, if it's a promotion, if it's a new job, working for somebody else, if it's a relationship, if it's buying a house, if it's whatever shape it takes. There's great opportunities that await you by the end of October that spills into November, my lovely Sagittarius. What an incredible, incredible month. It, the, the energy is really quite powerful around you and you're driving this. It's in your hands. So really don't settle for mediocrity. Strive for what it is you want. I hope that this reading resonates for you or part of it resonates for you. This is a general reading. If you'd like to book a private reading, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. That will be specific to you. Love, light and many blessings to you, my lovely Sagittarians.